curious butterflies. You mean bread and butterflies? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather Johnson and welcome back. I think this is the first time I'm ever doing a sit down video with you guys. So I hope you guys really like it. You know, uh, comment down below, like it, and also subscribe guys. So today is a totally different video. I decided why not do a back to school video, which I did at my desk video, but why not try and give tips to people who are not used to doing online schooling. I um I think it's called a like, dual enrollment, which means I take high school classes and college classes all my time through my high school sophomore year and up, my college classes have been online. So I'm pretty used to doing online classes. So this is nothing new to me other than I'm staying home and do it. Which was not how I was planning on my senior year being. So further on ado, let's get into this video. And I do want to apologize if any of my tips seem out of order because most of them are going to be totally out of order and probably make no sense why I repeat myself over again. But that's just a disclaimer. First tip I recommend is to make sure that you have a device you can work on. I know like some schools are giving out advice. What is that expression? What is that? Advice. Devices and some schools aren't. But you know, just make sure you have a device. Either you can use like an iPad or use a computer. Or even me, sometimes I do my schoolwork on my phone. Like whichever way would be easier for you guys to work. Make sure you guys just have a device to work on. If not, like ask one of your family members, ask a neighbor, ask someone like maybe you can borrow one of theirs um i know some people rent um computers and stuff you can try that you can also try saving up money and also buying other clothes i'm not really sure when you're supposed to go back to school but i will try out those you know just find your try your best because um, I know this is a disadvantage not going back to school if people thought you were going back to school, but you know, you need a computer, a device to do schoolwork on, and that's extremely important. So try and do one of those tips and also research online, like look up little computers, like a good buy computer is better than nothing, you know. Along with having a device, you also need internet. So if you don't have a stable internet, I would advise going once again to a family house or a friend house or over to a neighbor and be like, hey, can I do my schoolwork? You know, is it going to be important for my grades and stuff? No password stealing. I do not recommend that. I do not recommend you guys to do that. But even like, <laughs> this may sound funny, I think McDonald's have hotspot. Like, go to McDonald's or go somewhere who has like free hotspot you guys can use and do your schoolwork there. I don't think you may be able to go inside because there's a whole mess going on, but sit, I don't know, sit outside your car. With me, like, if I was in the position where I didn't have internet, I would do anything I can to get internet to do my work because school is very important to me and I know it's extremely important to you guys if you guys click on this video. Another thing I would advise is don't forget your earbuds. I like to use the this is the one that I use for my phone and like iPad because I can't never keep up with my other ones. But for my computer, I keep my iPad. But for my computer, I have the ones that I can connect to on my computer. That really, <laughs> I'm like music because I know sometimes like um. You're gonna need headphones for your videos, for your Zoom classes to like block out noise. I did a summer class over the summer, and that's no reason why I'm doing these videos because it was like my summer class is different from my original online classes that I did because I actually had to do Zoom and do these like uh, projects with other of my um, peers that's in the same class as me. I had to do it, so it's like a totally different environment for me, and it was like, oh my gosh. You have a terrible feedback so i pop in these bad boys and they said that you told to hear me and also like have your headphones to pop in some music to distract yourself in your house to really put yourself in a work mood now i will advise um for computer and for like classes and stuff 
these ones that you may not have to charge just in case they die in the middle of the lecture or test or whatever you don't have to worry about you know charging them like oh crap but like running right past them so you just automatically use your wire ones so that's what i do um and that's why i did over my summer class this one is extremely important charge your devices seriously guys i am the worst this. i will forget to charge my camera i will forget to charge my phone i will forget to charge my ipad my computer. i will forget to charge things and i'm sitting there in the mirror writing a paper all happy and then my computer dies in the middle of it i'm like oh my gosh please tell me it saves so that's why i use like google docs and stuff like that to make sure it saves no matter what so i would advise make sure you keep your devices charged maybe charge them the night before or you don't want to do that as a like, charge in between breaks just in case you don't sit by an outlet if you don't sit by that that's already fine that's why i have my desk here um because i have two outlets under my computer that i like to charge my devices for also if you can't sit at a desk or sit in an area that has an outlet maybe there's trying um what is it called it's called like an extension cord plugging that in and just make sure you get on one to charge your device because that's extremely important because nothing is worse than your computer dying in the middle of a class a say that you're hanging and it doesn't save or in the middle oh gosh in the middle of a test that is the worst it will say along with having a desk and having a device and the internet make sure you have the materials you need which means if you're taking a math class make sure you have a calculator or you can even just use the calculator on your phone or like um download an app on your phone which i also have i have a calculator in hand i also have the calculator that's on my phone that i love using just make sure you have a calculator for that math class you know make sure you have the books that you need the ruler like everything you're gonna need even for biology like i have biology this semester and the teacher said oh you're gonna have online labs which means you're gonna find things that you may need at the grocery store so i want to make sure i need every have everything i need for that biology class and also for my math class and like, like I said, being prepared is going to definitely, so if you prepare ahead, that would definitely help you so much. Make sure you have your materials, make sure you have your pencil, your pens, your binders, your paper, like make sure you have all of that, you got these. Another thing that going on with, make sure you have the materials is when you take notes, make sure you take a notes that you really need for. Don't sit there and write down the whole page, which I used to do when I was younger. Now I know. Um, write down important dates, keywords, you know, like even though sometimes on the quiz they will be like, oh, this person said this quote, you know, like if you feel like quotes are important, especially like in history or something, like let them eat cake, you know, like that was a musical from that woman, I can't remember her name right now, that's why I suck at history, but like make sure like write down those kind of things because 9 out of 10, your teacher will ask you something about that on a quiz. Make sure you add like graphs um, for math and pictures for your biology or sciences. Make sure you add color for your keywords and highlight things, you know. Title your pages, write your notes neat. So you know what you look like into it, you know what they say. Write them down neat because I can't stand when I have to go back to my notes. I'm like, what was I even writing? Like, you know, don't try to rush. But if you have to rush, try to write slow, you know. I personally like using my iPad. Sorry, I'm trying to look at my camera grab it. And touch it, but I personally like using my iPad and I just print my notes off and then I will go back through and highlight and underline them with actual pens or something since I'm writing my notes on my iPad. I would just do it that way. Or sometimes I hate staring at the screen. I would write my notes down on a piece of paper and I'll just highlight and scribble and do little keynotes as I'm doing it. Also, if your teacher have a uh, like slides and she doing the lecture videos have your slides and your lecture videos up at the same time and write notes because you're like reading that information as the teacher is describing it and it helped me so much and i hope it helped you guys too a planner i just got this planner from target which you guys saw i need to turn that off i'll close that later <laughs> but if you guys saw in my desk video once again is i got this cute planner from target now look at my nails i have to like read get them done and stuff but this is so cute and i also really like it it's not a spiral one to which like the pages would come off it's like this right here i love it so much i feel like this is like my favorite planner ever and when i tell you guys that my planner 
is like my life saver. It is my life saver. I write everything and I've been using a planner since like eighth grade year, maybe even younger than that. But when I became a freshman in high school, this helped me so much because I will forget the most simplest things. I'm focused on the big assignments. I will forget the most simplest things ever. And also I like to write down when the signs are due, when I should do it. I like to check things off because I just feel a lot more organized. So I will say again, having a planner to me is my lifesaver. Without it, I would not have the grades I have and I would totally be failing and crying and being just all over the place. Check out my desk video because this next thing is done with my desk is to make sure that you have a workspace and a lounge space, which means you don't want to get those two mixed up. It's like doing your work in your bed, it's like you have to get done, but your bed is just so comfortable. You're like, I don't want to do work, but you gotta do your work. Like you guys, I'm so serious. Me having a organized desk, desk space that is big, and I have everything organized where I know where my pens are at, my tape, and white outs at. It will help you so much just to have this workspace because then every time you sit in it, you're like, okay, I'm in my work zone straight face i gotta get this done but you're trying to do it in your lounge area you just want to sit around with your phone and that's not, not that's not going to cut that's not going to get you anywhere honestly so make sure you guys have a work space it could even if it's just like a little small area or even in like the dining room or something have a workspace and your comfort lounge space for your breaks emails oh my gosh guys I would email my teacher in a heartbeat. I am that annoying <laughs> when I don't understand something or if a teacher gives me a grade that I don't understand why I got the grade. Not saying I deserve perfect grades. Say like she take off points or something. I'm confused. Like, oh, can you elaborate more on it? Email your teachers. If you don't understand a subject, email your teachers and make sure you look at your signs ahead of time. So say a sign question may sound dumb. At least you're asking it. Do you have errors? Because nine out of ten, another peer or classmate is going to be sitting there thinking the same question. So always email your teacher. Have a routine, you guys. Having a routine is so important. Like I know, like when we did go back to school, we have routines. You know, you wake up at every time, the same time every morning. You like get dressed, stuff like that. Make sure that well, on the days you have school, get out of bed, wash your face, drink some water eat a snack, eat a good breakfast, whatever, make your bed, and just make sure you get your day going by playing some good music also. I'll also, like I said, have a routine as like a set time between you wake up early every day to get your work done and also go to bed early to wake up early the next morning. And also your body and your mind is gonna get set to that routine. It's gonna be like, hey, it's this time. It's time to go to bed or time to wake up, you know? Make sure you have a routine so you don't be sitting by and letting the day wait, like pass you by and be wasting it because write down like the things you did productive like if you something simple like cleaning up your room or filming a video or editing a video or just reading a book or say hey i took a walk that's something productive than laying in bed watching netflix which i did pretty much all the summer on top of doing online school but still like make sure your days are very productive and when you get out of bed make your bed it won't, it'd be like a lesson of temptation of getting back into it. When I work, you guys, I love to have a my diffuser running. I may use like an orange scent or like a relaxable scent. Uh, just to really like keep my mind on like, hey Heather, you don't work and maybe like you're extremely stressful, but at the same time, stay calm and serious. It's like having a good clean scent running would make you feel more peaceful and less stressful when you're doing your work. That may sound stupid, but that totally helps me just have a nice scent in the background. It really helps me a lot. If you get too bored or you find yourself like fidgeting a lot, change up your work scenery. Um, maybe, you know, like asking a friend like, hey, can you do work, schoolwork at your day? Not your day, like schoolwork at your house on some days or at my house some days or just like just go to the kitchen or even in your backyard just give you a chance of like a change of scenery to really work get familiar with like the websites you're going to use and like all the tech and the zoom classes like make sure you join in early just in case you have like internet problem or like you 
of course you have to wait for the teacher to add it in so like get into the zoom like five or ten minutes early just to also give you time to like prepare like okay i'm about to go into this class you know just mentally prepare yourself before the class starts but i will also like i said suggest getting familiar with the format because over the summer with my online class i was on a whole different page that i never used before so this is something different for me so like i was like very confused at first I was like oh my gosh i don't know how to join this zoom and i don't know how to work this website but eventually i got familiar with the format and it became easier for me to complete the class is it just me or do anyone else like the snack when they work? Oh my gosh, you guys, having a good snack can also fuel your brain throughout the day. So make sure you have a good, good snack. And I do not advise eating Cheetos and... Oh gosh, that's the only drop that I can <laughs> Candy, Sour Patch Kids, like actually eat something that maybe could be home grain or eat some carrots. Carrots are good for the eyes. It would be just staring at computer screens. So eat your carrots like eat something that's like healthy fruit veggies whole grain there's something that will keep you ready to feel throughout the day but also keep you full another tip i would advise you guys to do it is avoid touching your phone i know all summer when you're laying in your bed watching tiktok and youtube and hulu and whatever else people do on their phone social media and stuff but honestly guys put your phone on silence and put it in a drawer away somewhere because your phone will distract you so much. But some things that I like have on my phone nearby to play music, which is totally okay. But put it away where you can find it because I lose my phone all the time. So put it in like your nice and drawer that you always go in and like. Which is nothing we'll talk guys about. Do not work the straight on. Like make sure you take breaks in between because I used to just work, 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 work. And then I'm like, what was I talking about? And like what was I writing or studying and then at the same time I'm like wait a minute I'm getting a headache like take breaks in between your I want you guys to like find your inspiration and your motivation throughout the day like maybe the night before write down something so when you wake up in the morning you can just like look through and like oh okay this is what i have to do today like write down something fun you know like look forward to trying a new recipe or studying a new subject in school or like trying a new workout you know you like try and find inspiration and motivation when you wake up in the morning and also throughout the day to keep you going if you have to, if you need to get yourself in like that mood, try not to touch your phone anymore. I know sometimes I like to wake up and not touch my phone. And I feel like if I don't touch my phone first thing when I wake up in the morning, I just wake up and make my bed. I feel like I get more done actually throughout the day. Anyways, I hope you guys all enjoy these tips. Is there something that you guys do that I did not mention in this video? Comment down below. What is something that you may do that I don't? Could I may actually help me out? Or like if you see something that I mentioned in this video, like comment down like, oh, I didn't think about that. Or hey, Heather, maybe you need to like make a little adjustment to something new. So please comment down below like something that I did not mention that you actually do to help you out. Because we're all in this together. Like I said, I was not expecting my senior year to be online again, but that's the way it turned out. Um, also, if you guys like the video, like I said in the beginning, please subscribe and give me two thumbs up. Even though it's only one thumb, you know, just give me a thumbs up <laughs> on the video. And I can't wait to record and post more for you guys. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.